pals. For some reason, I can't record a video while I'm in video and switch it around. I don't know. Look at my cute little hiking sticks. I have got to tell you this craziness. Now, like a while back, Mark asked us, like, oh, God, catch my breath. Like, where God, we hear God, you know? Well, like right there, out there on that trail. So, I, um, I gotta tell you this. When I was out there, I was scared. When I first started, I was scared. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm totally not, like, ever hiking by myself ever again. And, um, then, then I'm like, okay, maybe I came to, like, a clearing, and maybe, like, I can hike in, like, open places by myself, totally cool with that. And then... thinking about my my hiking sticks that I just got and I'm like oh my gosh am I even using these things right at least I have them I like push these pricker vines out of my way and maybe beat an animal if I have to I would never um but yeah like maybe poke them away um and I saw the water off to my left, and um, I, uh, I said, oh my gosh, I'm halfway in. I'm just going to turn around because I saw like a big hill, and I'm a little nervous. This is like my first time hiking since my knee replacement. The last time I hiked, I needed a knee replacement, and I was 50 pounds heavier, if not more. So... I turned around and I'm like, oh, this looks totally different coming from this way. Hmm. Wow. The path even seems kind of like wider. Oh, and at the beginning I thought I was, it's a multi-use trail. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to tick off all the mountain bikers. They're going to be like, on your left. Ah. Um, that didn't happen. Well, you get in your head and you start talking about what can happen, making making dumb damn scenarios. Um, but as I had turned around and I was hiking back, it was easier. Like, what the heck? It's not that it was very uphill. It wasn't very um, strenuous at all. <laughs> Maybe that's because of my sticks. But I'm... I'm like wow this is such a different perspective and I know like we've used that word here we've had a segment but I mean God was talking to me people um because on the way out I was down I was thinking negative thoughts I'm like oh my gosh I'm not gonna make it I can't do this I went, and I forgot my phone. And like literally as I turned around, I saw the coolest bird. I think it was a, a black and white woodpecker. Regardless, I'll look it up and we can post it right there. Um, and this morning I saw an apeliated woodpecker. The one with the red head. I used to be super scared of them, but for some reason they're... They're not bothering me lately. Anyhow. On my way back, somebody's coming. Uh-huh. Okay. So on my way back, 
I was like more positive. I'm like, wow, it's a great perspective. Oh my gosh, look at those pink flowers. I never saw them before when I came out. This was a brand new trail for me. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I feel like I did, I got talked to. Um, and I really wanted to share it with you because some of you may have um, some trials right now going on that um, you may have gone through before. But um, even if it's like the same thing, whether it be like family drama, like yourself drama, um... friend drama, you know, you're feeling like you're being left out or you can't do something and it's just like tales all this time. Am I saying it's not going to come back? No. But what I'm saying is, is that this time you go through it, it's a different perspective. Um, and you bring that. Same problem, different perspective. If the problem keeps finding you, <coughs> you have to bring the new perspective on it, a different way to deal with it, a different way to handle it. And uh, that's what I wanted to share. Have a good day, pals. I forgot to say this too. Drink your water. Wear your SPF. Smile.